Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Today I'm gonna install the Noctua fan upgrade to my Prusa MK2S printer. Uh, the reason for it is, is the stock fan is, is really loud and when I'm having the printer uh, just beside me here uh, with the cabinet door open like I have it a lot of times when I'm doing prototypes and printing small things, uh, the main noise of the printer is a uh, fan and I've seen several videos online uh, of people installing the Noctua fan and, and, and people uh, have reported that it is working quite well so I got the got Noctua fan uh, it is a NFA4X10 fan a 40 millimeter fan uh, that is 10 millimeters uh, thick and I have printed out uh, two things for mounting the fan. The, the first one is a duct to uh, install on the printer where the original fan is and <coughs> that is uh, with a slight angle because the, the fan is bigger and, and in the or original place there is no space for the bigger fan so you have to move it away from the printhead and then I printed out a fan guard to to have in front of the fan and this is just because I don't want my fingers to get in the fan so that will go on top and, and this will go like this and mount it uh, where the original fan is and it looks pretty good and, and I think it will be a, a nice upgrade uh, you have to solder the wire, wires. Uh, the, the fan is a standard uh, PC uh, connector type uh, three pin, and you have to cut the yellow wire away and use the black and the red wire. Uh, but that's not a problem. Uh, I'm using the, the spare 20 millimeter hex screws to mount the fan to the to the new plastic so that is uh, a good fit those were in the spare bag with the Prusa so I didn't have to buy uh, extra uh, extra uh, screws uh, I'm also using a heat shrink uh, to isolate the wires and this is a uh, something I got from the RC cars it's just a standard heat shrink and then some soldering wire and, and, and soldering iron so that's all you need uh, and you need the 2.5 millimeter hex key or like I have a, a, a tool with a hex key on on the end so this is what you need to do this and, and also print it out uh, this uh, for the part cooling fan it's just a cosmetic thing but I want to have it in orange as well so I printed this out and this is just an easy install but uh, for now I'm gonna take the original fan from the printer and I'm gonna mount this and, and see if everything fits before I cut the wires because if this part is is, is some uh, has some wrong dimensions or something I don't want to start with cutting the wires because if I need to print it again I need the fan in place so make sure you fit everything before you cut the wires and do the wires last so that's what I'm gonna do now you can see uh, here is a original original fan um, and this will replace the fan and come here and, and this is uh, tilted in a way that it shouldn't interfere with the, the, with the plastic here and hopefully it will fit fit quite well but I'm gonna test that out first and and, and then if that works I'm gonna mount the fan and, and finally cut the wires so I'm gonna remove this fan now and I'll talk to you when you when I have some process. Yeah, 
Uh, now I have fitted one screw in uh, just here, and I can I can hear the the end switch stop before anything uh, else is connecting. So this is going to be a good fit. So I'm quite happy that this is this is going to work. So I'm going to just carry on and, and put on on the other three screws and install those. Now the piece is, is mounted and it was quite easy. Uh, just had to make sure the uh, uh, part is pressed against the extruder assembly before you tighten uh, because the screws were threading into this part also. So at first it had a small gap, but I just took the screws out and, and put them back in and make sure this was quite fit to this extruder assembly part so that's the only thing uh, there is a, a lot of free wire on the fan so I can put those together and, uh, and with the Noctua fan I have to rip out this uh, uh, cover and uh, I might maybe have that installed in the in the printer but uh, I'll place this fan and, and and connect the wires so that will be my next step to mount the fan and the fan shroud in the way it, the fan shroud goes on top and the screws go through so I have to clean out the holes of the fan shroud they are too small for the screws but that's not a not a problem I'll just drill through them with a small drill Now the fan has been mounted and, and I'm going to use the, the sleeve that was with the cable because it looks nice and I'm going to route the cable in the groove where the original cable was and maybe just fasten this to the plastic by super glue uh, just at a small dip and, and I'm going to cut this wire here and, and cut the wire here and, and make the connections. Uh, so that will be the next step to connect the wires and that's going to be some soldering work so that's, that's the next step. Yeah, I set up uh, my clips to help me help hold the wires and I'm going to put on the swing wrap uh, don't want to forget get that and gonna place that over the wires It's better to spend a little time aligning everything up. Uh, it helps uh, with getting a better connection and make the soldering job much easier to have these clamps. And uh, without them, it's very difficult to connect small wires like this. So you have to use use something like this. So my soldering iron is just heating up and. You 
see if I can get this. Like this. Uh, I'm just gonna get the red wires together. This, so this was easy. I just have to get the heat wrap over, and I'm gonna just use my soldering iron to to have it shrink. be careful it's really thin wires so just put it like this on a on it wraps and I have a heat gun but I think this is a too small of an area to use the heat gun for this you can also use a lighter or something but this is done and now I'm gonna thread this over and, and fix everything in a good position I've seen that what I have to do is I have to cut this strap and get this bundle underneath because this place the spacing here uh, will interfere with a with a frame so I have to cut this and get this underneath and then I can put the extra cable length on the on the on this side so there is no space for extra cable in this side because of the frame uh, will interfere with it. It's not a problem in, in this direction much because it doesn't go <coughs> all the way. So this is what I have to do is, is to cut this strap and, and get this wire taken care of. I found out that it's much better to get a extra cable snug up in underneath the plastic wrap here. So I replaced this and I'm gonna finish this up with a extra length of cable just like this in, inside of here. It is more clean and to have the extra cable uh, somewhere around around here. So that's just what I found out. I just uh, removed this strap, put the cable uh, underneath and put it back on and remove this so I'm gonna put this back on now this is on this is just this two screws this item is is not uh, entirely correct uh, there is a it is a little bit too big uh, it clashes with the shroud here so I'm gonna cut out a little bit of it just a uh, I know it's not uh, done correctly. This was just a, th a thing I found on Thingiverse, so uh, I, I might 
uh, with that design my own but I'm just gonna cut out a little bit here to, to have it fit better so this is just a brutal As you see now, now it fits. Uh, I'm probably just redesign a new one and and I have it correct. So I don't remember the thing number on this one. But I'll probably yeah just make a new one. Yeah, so this went quite easy. It was uh, very easy to do. The, the most time I spent was on just the cabling, but uh, other than that, it was. Plain and simple. Uh, like I said in the beginning, I used uh, 20 millimeters hex screws that was in the spare back. So I just had to buy the fan and print out those two uh, components to install it. So it was uh, not very costly to do. Uh, I ordered the Noctua fan just online from their store. So uh, it was not uh, available in the local uh, computer shop uh, where they sell Noctua fan for PCs. but. I might have been able to order it through them, but I just went online and got it there. But this was I'm gonna this was uh, this was uh, what I wanted to show you today, and, and and hope you have learned something from this video. And, and, and please leave a comment if you saw something interesting or noticed something I did wrong. But I think this is a good video for how to install the Noctua fan on the Prusa. So thank you.